Okay, so here's what's left of it. It just smokes now. So here, let's, let's cut it on for a second. You can see it. There you go. It smokes a little bit. So what I did was I took an oil burner ignition transformer that outputs 10,000 volts AC, and I used a I rectified it with a Cockroft Walton multiplier. So it turned this 10,000 volts AC into 28,000 DC, and I put the positive end inside of this cheap USB plasma globe, and I put the base of the stack on this neodymium magnet. I put it on top of the globe to demonstrate the how the field interacts with the plasma inside. So it didn't last too long because the glass is cheap and thin, so it cracked pretty quickly. But still pretty cool. So the reason this failed was because when I, I moved this little enclosure, I actually ended up bending the wire here and it ended up shorting out right there. So these are actually really simple. It's just two high voltage capacitors. There's, you can't see it. Well, there's uh, two high voltage diodes on the bottom and it, it's like a ladder. So these, these uh, resistors here are just for protecting the diodes. Um, you, it does work without it. It just the diodes heat up a little bit. So, um, and you, you don't even have to get a high voltage resistor for this. It just has to be uh, non-wire wound. So like carbon film and as long as it's potted in an, uh, you know, oil or epoxy such that it won't arc over the resistor, then you're, you know, you're pretty safe. So, you know, high voltage resistors are very expensive and you don't always need them unless you're uh, planning on operating something in open air. So, but. all right, see you guys later.